Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today is going to be Will It Lift? As you can see up there, the hoist is in place. I've rewound it all on the drum so it's all where it belongs, no gaps. And the only hand chain I've got is for the high side. We'll try and set you up and we'll see if we can pick half this tractor up to start with and then we'll go from there. All right, so this tractor and when it's all put together, it's 23,000 pounds I've had on the scales before. Uh, without the cab on here and the duals all up there, it's about 19,000 total weight. So it should be a good uh, starting load test for the crane. So again, we have to try and pick this one side up. And if that works good, I'll try and get it slung up and pick the whole back end up. I don't have enough slings to do the whole tractor. You might try that later on, but this would be a good test to see how the brake and everything is working. Plus, I may not be able to pull uh, the full thing because I've only got the high speed chain on here. I don't have a chain for the low speed yet. Uh, it won't be here until December sometime. So, I don't have near the torque that I should have. I've got probably half the torque or less. Yeah, it's about half. So that means uh, instead of 15 pounds, about seven and a half is probably going to be where I'm going to be picking this up. Uh, equivalent to 15, although, you know, I can hang off this thing and go well above what uh, it's supposed to be. I guess it's designed to like 115 pounds total pull to lift the rated load. So if I can pull, yeah. Most I can pull is 180 because it took me off the ground. seem to bother to do that. So, so sit in between the whole back end of this thing. I guess the brake's holding all right too. I'll let it back down.
it's not very fast, but it doesn't need to be for what I'm going to do with it. So it's not going to get used that much on that level anyway. Let me see if I can get this rest of this back end tied up or something to hold. We'll try that. Alright, so I think I have something maybe to work here. Let's we'll see if I can pick this thing up or tip it over one or the other. Or pull the hoist down. I guess that's not too good. What's up? It's a heavy sucker. You see, we're up in there. I forgot this tractor's actually got fluid in the tires on the back. So. That's another thousand pounds plus per tire. So another two thousand pounds. <laughs> Bailey says he doesn't know about it. What do you think, Bailey? Is it okay? So that's it, it's hanging from the crane. So that's the load test so far.
And see what I was talking about? Pulling in on that tire so hard. Need a spreader bar for this. That can be something else I can build. But as you can see, this big heavy sucker is holding up. And the crane didn't even make a peep. Kind of works, the guy's got to pull it up though. But I uh, normally won't lift entire tractors, so maybe not such a big deal. Let's see how the brake works. Let's see, it'd be raised. Yep. Doesn't run off. So, it'll go wherever you put it. You can lift it one handed, but it's a pretty good pull. I wouldn't want to pick this thing up all the way to the rafters. So, let's get this up out of the way and got it working. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I still got to get the rest of the chains on it so I can move it around and get the right chain on it over there. But, so far, so good. Hope y'all enjoyed getting to see this thing lift its first load and uh, test it out. I'm pretty tickled with the feel of it. Uh, with the chain on the high torque side, it's pull a whole lot easier. But uh, I mean, basically th this thing, I've already got as much hanging on here as my big Cincinnati or the Monarch weighs. So that's pretty good. Maybe I'll, uh, if I get another, some more right straps, maybe I'll try and chain this thing up and see if it can move it around. And here, once I get the chains on there, that make an interesting video moving. Yeah, that's t be 10 ton plus. So, it's about the heaviest thing I've got to lift, uh, short of the boring mill itself, so. And a big Cincinnati VMC, it, it's at it's 26,000, so it'd be right in there with this tractor with it all put together, even with the fluid in it, so. Well, I guess I'll set this thing back down and move on to the next project. That's that, it's got the 15 ton crane in operation, so I'm pretty excited to be able to get that up out of the floor, go back to doing some more cleaning or maybe building doors. I hear that I might have some track hardware pretty soon. So might work on that here next. What to say besides I'm, I'm glad that the crane worked like it was supposed to. Uh, reverse engineering that was a bit tricky. So getting that to work like it should was either dumb luck or skill, I'm not sure which, could have been both. But uh, nonetheless, seems to work pretty good and get the rest of the chains on it. And that'll be finished with that. Besides maybe someday I'll paint it, but mainly it's for use, not for looking at. So onwards and upwards, still gotta get all those tuba tins put up where they belong. And get all this lumber turned into doors and then start running water lines. So, still lots to do. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later. Hope you enjoyed the lift.